what's good y'all man it's your boy cozy joe and we are back with another video y'all this one's going to be the, the ah, damn gosh, i can't talk this one's going to be the continuation of my little pony listen just hear me out bro my little pony analog horror trust me it's good trust me this is part two of the series of the little mini series that that we got going on swamp fever prevention tape mlp infection analog horror i hope y'all having a blessed day who y'all got betted on the chiefs or the 49ers me personally i'm not a fan of none of them but you know 49ers they got my boy chris mccaffrey but i don't know man i think that the chiefs gonna come up with some type of satanic ritual they they gonna win i mean bro travis kelsey is dating Ta taylor swift you got one of the best quarterbacks in the league of course they're gonna win so without further ado y'all hope y'all like and subscribe and let's hop right into it Welcome all right so this is the prevention this is a prevention through the swamp fever pandemic okay Today, okay we will be looking at prevention steps to help you all through right. these troubling times so we gotta stay and safe how you can conquer and stay prepared let's begin hey elderberry always come in clutch First, tell you that let's take a look at some terminology used by our leading scientists to help with our approach to the infection all right all right the okay. parasite while the folks parasite? at the equestria research department title I like a tree branch folia, the parasite must be some type of worm like a like a tape the worm. Parasite. maybe the Oakland parasite starts off as a microscopic organism and lives within the spores of the lily pads found around swamps. Okay. The Oakland parasite will begin to grow at bro, a rapid it's, pace. It's crazy how, like, you know, a lot of these parasites, like worms, bro. And, like, when you see them come out, it's so, ugh, so nasty, bro. So, does that mean that, you know, the worms inside the earth, you know, with soil and what that is, that technically a parasite? Shut your s. I mean, not like in that, you know, not in a bad way, because, you know, they also help out the earth. But is that technically a parasite? Since, you know, most of these parasites that are harmful always comes off to be like a worm. You know what I'm saying? It discovers a warm home to settle into. That is why we can find the sporopods located within humid swamps. Okay. Hey, the I'll stay away from swamps anyway. Alligators. Are easy to avoid. Where? Taking steps like washing hooves showering and most importantly Who's? keeping your mouth covered oh, yeah, are great yeah, yeah. precautions to make sure this the is infection horses, not only these, these little ponies day, but help stop the spread of the infection at the source all right so it's kind of like c19 Upon but worse and second stages if a pony is infected they must be quarantined as they easily you know but sometimes i'll be forgetting that this is my little pony like when we <laughs> bro's talking about who's and then with this pony picture popped up i'm like like a little have popped up in my head like wait a minute why are we talking about horses why is this my little pony now remember we reacting to my little pony this is this is probably maybe one of the most creative ones i've seen like this 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 junk crazy like who who would come up with a my little pony analog horror bro i feel like we need a batman one carry the infection physical contact must be avoided at all costs but if an accident does happen please follow the previous steps okay Wash your hands, take a shower, the third stage infected eat elderberries. It's a lot harder to treat when it comes to keeping the infection down. Okay. The Damn. hostile nature of the infected ponies will mean trouble for disinfecting What happened to his arm? It fell off? Sometimes, Let me take my sip. The best case is to deep clean as much as you can to make sure the spores and parasites do not find a human hey, bro. place to stay and When the whole pandemic had happened, also I kept Lysol with me at all times. So you might need to look at right more there, bro. measures. I'm telling you, I was spraying Lysol everywhere I was going, man. I always been a huge germaphobe, and I'm still in a huge germaphobe. Even when I listen, yes, yes, listen, listen, yes. I go poop in public um, restrooms. What? I do, I do. But listen, listen, hear me out though. I disinfect it. Like I sincerely, I really do. All right, I bring me Lysol spray and Lysol wipes, and you know, a little, a little spray of bleach. I spray it down a little tad bit. Yeah, I get the Lysol. <laughs> Spray on that mug, Lysol wipes, wipe it down, and I layer it with tissue paper, you know, you know, my own tissue paper or like with Lysol wipes and in threes, sometimes fours, all around the the perimeter. Because I heard that if you sit on the toilet seat with your booty hole out, I heard that you get worms, bro. And like when you poop it out, worms be coming out. It's like it's like ringworm, but for the butt. So hey, listen, bro, you gotta stay safe, bro. You gotta stay clean, real talk. You have to stay clean, bro. People out here dirty, man. I be going to the bathroom, they don't even they just leave the pee right there. Or like you see that hair. Ugh, you see that hair 
left on the toilet seat. I avoid those. I make sure I go to the most clean one. Mm-hmm. A real quick story time. I know I know we react to my little pony analog horror, but listen, just hear me out, y'all. Remember one time my stomach was hurting so bad. It was it was hurting so so bad. So of course, you know, we was at Walmart. I went to the men's restroom. Now, if you're a man, you're a boy, you already know that the male's restroom is horrendous at Walmart. You should already know. If your Walmart is extremely clean, then you're lucky. But over here, down in the south, no, it's not. Dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. As soon as I opened up that mug, it, ju it just so happened, I guess my my luck, but I, as soon as I went inside that mug, stank. Stank slapped me in my face. But I was like, okay, you know, it's a bathroom, so of course it's going to stank. My stomach hurt. I don't care. Open up one stall. PP everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh, bro. And see, in, in this Walmart, we had two stalls and then two urinals. So that one stall was already used. The second urinal was worse. Toilet paper everywhere with pee pee stains and doo doo left inside the toilet bro on top you know not on top with with the toilet paper with pee pee stains on top of the doo doo brother and listen man add the cherry on top doo doo stains on the seat now this might sound like an over exaggeration it might sound like a false but listen y'all there's really people out here with explosive diarrhea and for some reason they don't want to clean up after themselves so anyway bro i'll open up that mug boom thank stank just hit me boom it just hit me i'm over here you know what i'm saying i'm in the bathroom for like three minutes thinking what should i do what can i do you know the maintenance people are gonna take about 10 minutes to come to clean out the bathroom you know them niggas don't care so i'm like oh dang i'm really gonna have to embarrass myself you know what i'm saying i'm really i'm really gonna have to you know hopefully not come up as a creep but i gotta do it so i said bump it i swallowed my pride I went straight to the women's restroom. Thankfully, you know, the women's restroom was clean. So anyway, I went to the women's restroom and uh, this black lady, she she uh, came out of the stall. She, she looked at me and was like, what you doing here? I said, listen, man, the men's best room, I mean, best room, the men's restroom is completely dirty. I really got to use the bathroom and this is my only option. And she like, hey, listen, I don't even blame you. You got to do what you got to do. Go ahead and use it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, thank you, man. Boy, I went ahead and let it rip like a Beyblade. Real talk. I let I let that mug rip. Yes, sir. So, you know, 10, 10 minutes inside the bathroom, but not. There was just like women coming in and like this one lady came in with her daughter. And it's like, you know, they, they were knocking on my door, just knocking on my door. And I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. So I had to really, you know, change it to my white chicks voice off of you know that uh, movie white chicks somebody's in here luckily i was younger during that that time so it wasn't too hard but man it was it, it was scary like i think i think the scariest part was trying to leave it and leave it at a right time where there's no women coming in at all which that was indeed successful but hey look even though the women's restroom was very clean I still kept that Lysol on me, you know what I'm saying, just in case. Just because the women restroom clean don't know me nothing. They probably could have spit on that toilet seat and it just so, just so happened to smear all over the seat. Cleaning. Now, let's take a look at steps of preparation when it comes to dealing with someone who is infected. Whether it's a quarantine pony nearby right. or someone on the street who shows heavy signs of infections, it's okay. not too late to learn the important steps to keeping yourself out of harm's way. That's real talk, you know, keep if away you from them. Signs of the early stages of infection. Remember to stay several feet apart and keep your face mask on at so all like, times. So it's like it's like C19. And just the slightest cough or sneeze could transfer the parasite over to other. But ponies. that second and that third if stage be dangerous the pony though. Is infected and out in the public, remain calm and let your local authority know they have not been quarantined. A stage 3 infected will be easier to spot, but spotting them will usually cause issues. Their amplified speed and strength can easily overpower an average sized pony. Dude, what happened in there? Is not enough. <laughs> what happened? Oh, the my bad. What happened in there? Is to get somewhere safe and keep the infected away from you. While feral, they still retain their ability to speak and okay. will use the memories of the host to try and gain your trust. They will do anything to try and get close to you. Remember the So they're like zombies pretty much at that point. Like that I said, Last of Us 
Or like the dying the light zombies. One of the ways to tell if a pony is a stage 3 infected is the way that a pony will speak. If you notice any anomalies Stuttering, in their speech, echo voice changes and tells uncontrollable laughter and twitchy vocals. Intent will also be quite Bro, what if it's just like a sick pony? Not 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 just a sick pony, but a mentally ill pony. You know mentally ill people, especially in asylums like Batman Arkham Asylum type beats, they look crazy. So what if that person just crazy? You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. If you find yourself in a okay. predicament that requires you to take action, please remember the following. You must destroy the parasite that is nestled in the brain. So go ahead While and shoot him in the head. To look towards decapitation, the parasite will still live inside the brain, mm -hmm. causing the separated part of the host to reconnect. Okay, with so the it's like dead body. space, pretty much destroying like dead space. Destroying the brain entirely has been reported to be the most effective way to stop an attack. Smash, shoot in the head. Crushing or even complete destruction of the head by other means are very effective. Oh, bro, I just seen like a weird ad that just popped up. And it was like this anime dude was sucking this girl fingers. Okay. But anyway, what they said right right there about destroying, smashing, complete destruction and all that. That's what people are not going to do. You look at horror movies. For some reason, they hit the person one time. They stab them. They might even shoot them two or three times. But they never ever check. Especially if they're crazy or sick. They never ever check it to see that that mug is fully dead. A young black individual like me, man, I'm making sure it's dead, okay? I'm, not only I'm chopping up the head, but I'm smashing that head. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna cut off the legs too, bro. I'm gonna make sure that you're not coming back. You feel me? And then I'm burning the body, yep. Yes, sir. Mince meat. Oh. Oh my gosh, back shots. Back shots. Oh no. Somebody smashing somebody's head. Somebody smashing somebody's head. Okay. What happens if you kill an effect and the blood gets on you? Do you get sick? Oh, geez Louise, brother. Just remember to keep their blood away from any openings of your body, such as mouth, ears, eyes, nose, or any possible yep, open Yeah, yeah, they're done for, have. bro. It's kind of like um, the daddy known like spiders. It starts at the most simple step. Stay away from places that contain spore pods. Last of Us. Stage 4 infected. While hostile and stronger than the stage three infected. Bro, what did they turn into? Did they turn into like some type of deformed squid? And hey, look, look at that, bro. It's like a squid bird with a beak. That's like they don't got no arms and legs no more. Just tentacles. Is that tentacles? Remain deeper within humid areas. Swamps, forests, and even underground tunnels have been noted to contain stage four infected. Why don't you just bomb the place? Just bomb it. these areas. Each pony must be prepped for the worst case scenario. A Water, gun. Medicine. Our bandages. That's real. Disinfectant. Companions. And any weaponry must be acquired to protect our civilians from a worst case scenario situation. Okay. If encountering a four stage infected, remember the following steps. What's the steps, man? Flee. Okay. I mean, that's the best step that you can do. Unlike stage three. This stage is a lot slower and can easily be outrun. Take the proper steps to make sure that you Keep and the difference any pony from are the not steps. left behind and flee from the area as fast as possible. Do not try to run in a zigzag pattern as it will only close the distance between you and the stage four infected. So it is it's still fast at the end of the day. Look at me, I'm a if track you star, you feel me? And are unable to flee. The next best step is to find a place that is out of sight from the infected. While the infected's eyesight is weakened after transformation, they Kay. can still see clearly enough to know when there is a figure in the open. Sure, I'll Try go ahead and spit some dust in their face. And stay in the dark to make sure it doesn't spot you. I mean, shoot, if the mug is a lot slower in stage four. Zoom. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, I'm out of here. Zoom. 
I'm out. Straight running. Straight track. You feel me, bro? Like, you say don't do no zigzag because it's just going to close it, which makes perfect sense. Just a straight line, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's still fast, but it's like a little bit slower. Listen, I wouldn't even hide, right? I'll make sure I'm a good football field away, which will be in no time for someone like me. And yeah, simple as that. I'm out. No reason Unlike to fight. the third stage, this stage is heavily resilient. There are still a lot that scientists are doing to research possible weaknesses Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> the most effective, though most dangerous, is fire, due to their bark-like textured skin. This okay. could cause issues when it comes to trying to flee or hide. If all else fails, and you find yourself infected by I should get one of those shotguns that blast out fire, action. like on Call of Duty. What? What did he say? Stop the infection at the source. Oh. Destroy your brain by any means. So commit that. Commit suicide. Do not let the parasite win. Okay. I mean, I guess, I guess that'd be great. By Ryuji Sakai. Is that your name? Oh man, I'm 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 actually glad that you really kept this going because the first one was peak. You feel me? The first one I seen, y'all should check that out. It's peak. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this is part two of the Swamp Fever. Um, it's called Swamp Fever Expedition. Let's see what uh Ryuji got going for us, man. Stay going crazy, bro. Golly. Welcome to the Equestria Science Department, new recruits. Here at the ESD, we are the powerhouse of all science oh, yeah, advances within Equestria and have made bro. incredible discoveries within the field to evolve the life of every pony. It sounds like something you hear off of like Persona 3 or something. The or Persona 5. But first, let us introduce ourselves and our future projects that you will be joining us on. Let's begin. Okay. Sure, let's hey man, let's start it, bro. The pharmaceuticals. Have you ever wanted to develop life saving <laughs> medicine? Located no. within Manhattan, our pharmaceutical facility helps Listen, bro. all sorts of medicine. Don't get me wrong, if I could be a superhero, I, I probably would. But life saving medicines at that point, bro, you a target. I mean, it'll be worth it. Now, would it be worth it though? Nah, bro, because there's like a lot of medications out here that could be cured for anything and just gets hidden y'all know what happens like let's say for example you create a cure for cancer which i'm pretty sure that there's a cure out there for cancer you're getting put down immediately yep that thing's not going nowhere they're going to keep it and they're going to give you a huge check and take you off the map at the same time which is crazy medicine to help the daily lives of ponies whether someone is struck with a cold facing severe body aches or even okay. life-threatening diseases you can count on our facility to research and discover ways to help anyone bro, who is suffering bombs, no matter how bro. small or big it might seem this pharmaceutical facility is run by Dr. Duke, Duke Apricot, Apricot, a well experienced mayor who has been with the department for several years. Duke Due to looked Dr. like he pulled holes. Apricot's dedication to the practices of medicine, he has been a massive help in the development of several treatments. That's a lot of long words. Results. Oh my gosh. Oh. I seen hay fever though. Expedition Task Force audio. This is Dash 3, proceeding with Expedition with Alpha. Okay. Bravo and Delta are in position and awaiting confirmation. Dash 3 confirmed. Remain cautious when entering. Affirmative. All right. Can you watch where you're pointing that? Can you watch where you're stepping? You're supposed to be on. Yeah, opium ponies out here, bro. Focus. We don't need our incident. Need us bring the bar clavas. I just wish they wouldn't send us out in the dead of night. This place creeps me out. Infected eye sights are worse in the dark. At least that's what Bravo confirmed on their last expedition. I bet you they can hear her though. I bet you they can hear a lot better. Since their eyesight is messed up. Holy smokes. About scared me. Technology. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to create helpful and innovative pieces of technology? Located I guess so, yeah. San Francisco, our technology I try, I tried to make a robot when I was younger. Incredible advances in technology, ranging from appliances used daily, a wider range the of prosthetic thing, development, to even the more complex machinery built to increase. Alright, so how about this though, right? 
since there's so many technological advances this one thing i don't get especially when it comes down to dealing with something that's infected that can travel with a scratch blood or bite marks why don't the government ever in those universes i'm right i'm not gonna say here i hope hopefully not here but why don't the government ever come out with like some armor that won't get pierced at all like you know it it, it clears up your entire skin like we seen it in movies where you got armor that won't get pierced can't get bit through or nothing it, it just protects your whole entire body unless that opposition has some type of crazy tail weapon why not just make something like that you can make limb prosthetics and do state-of-the-art machinery and have bones with titanium in it right why not make some armor boom take out take out them niggas man take them out but you know when something crazy going on you got it you got it you got to keep it you got to keep it around to increase the plot engineers from all over equestria have found wonderful career mm. opportunities they did our technology facilities and help increase the demand for more opportunities every for single one of them did i probably just to Whether protect the um identity or even inventors wanting to show off their creations we take pride in every pony who joins our department Her. Oh, okay. We, we back with it with the shiesty ponies. You see that? House in the distance. Blaze. I don't know a dude named Blaze. Fire one. This What's is real name Robert. Alpha team has spotted an abandoned house off in the distance, about 40 meters away. Confirmation to proceed. Roger dash three. Permission granted. You are confirmed entry. All right. Roger that. Roger, Roger. All Shit. right. Safety off 15 meters. Move in. Hey man, blast these niggas. So they galloping. Y'all y'all can probably hear my dog in the, in the back. Blaze. Photograph. Got it. Okay, so that's red mode. Biology, botany, and chemistry. Ooh, all right, Would cool. you like to join the leading facility that started it all? No, no. Would you like to make incredible biological discoveries or no. work with a dedicated team to help research advanced formulas? No. <laughs> within Canterlot, Can't the home do that. of our founder Celestia Solis. I'm so, listen, I'm clumsy, bro. The pride and joy of the ESD and is the heart of the Equestria Research Department, otherwise known as the ERD, led by some of the smartest minds in science, including the award-winning Dr. Twilight Sparkle. Uh, You'll Twilight find your Sparkle. home located at the start of it all. All right. Our newly Let's formed botany section start it, the you facility feel has slowly become a staple of scientific discovery, as several of our other facilities rely on our research within our wildlife. So that's my little pony world. Ranging from pharmaceuticals with our plant-based research, or even our engineers with minerals located by our team, you'll be making Equestria a better place within our team. Oh, okay. There we go. We we, we back on it. Bravo six going dark. Taking mid. Blaze. Take a mid? Yeah, and they give me some saw. Some of that get exotic. I want to see what, what these things like, really the look like. You feel me? Was here not that long ago. With all that mold, it could be a scourge. Stay cautious. Hose up. No, wait. I said, hose up. I said, hose up. <laughs> Right there. Do not move. Where's your wife? She's uh, in the back room. Real talk. I can take you to her. Just please. What are her symptoms? I imagine he locked the door. He or she. I don't know, man. Soren, go check the back room. It sounds it sound very down. suspicious. It sounds shush bashes. Please. Make your way to that corner and stay right where I can see you. Yeah, nigga. Don't move. You heard the lady. We're gonna help Daisy. Just stay over there. Yeah. Yeah, Shay. You heard the guy, Shay. Yeah. What's that noise? Play. Keep your sights on him. Affirmative. Nah, he probably sick the whole time. Details. What's her status? So listen, listen. They also said that they use manipulation. So what if the wife is hiding and he's using the wife as a decoy? Mm -hmm. What if the wife is dead? Mm -hmm. What if that? 
What if he is the infected one? Mm -hmm. Misty. It's a bloodbath in here. Everyone, regroup now. The world? Okay, I told you. What well, I tell you, bro? I told you, so, something had, had to happen. Something had to happen, bro. We welcome you to our team and hope that you find a place within our facilities to help the lives of every pony in Equestria. To send you off on your journey, we back to the tools again. To our founders' words of encouragement. Oh, that stutter! Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that little that little stutter right there went crazy. Fire one, this is Dash three. Building was scouted. Had a run-in with an infected emulated pony. Sending over the photos right now. Dash three, what's the status of your unit? A bit shaky. Dang, why is it blurred up though, down. man? Faster than usual. Why is it blocked no out? Worries, I want to see it, man. Want to call off the expedition for tonight? Seems like y'all had enough action. Let's regroup at the forest entrance. What's Bravo and Charlie's status? Dead. I haven't been able to get a line with them. Sections five and six of the forest are dead zones. Permission granted to end the expedition. Set up the building before leaving, though. Okay. Roger that. We'll contact once we get to the entrance. I'm so curious, like, what's going on, man? Like, I really want to see what they look like. Blaze, you know what to do. Take him down. Finally. Well. Hey, Dash, get over here. Blaze, crazy. I think he busted my camera during the attack. He didn't touch you, did he? No. When he swiped, he hit the camera. Spitfires, they could be happy to hear about that. Replacing these things is a pain. Nigga, replacing a life is impossible. What? What are you talking about? It's a camera. Alpha Team's last photo. I told y'all it was him. <laughs> Holy smokes. Stage four attack. Holy smokes. Who is that? Who look at <laughs> why he frowning in the camera? Do you not see that master? I mean, I said master. Do you not see that monster right behind you? Ryuk, man. Coming up with some great stuff, dude. I never expect myself to really, you know, saying look into My Little Pony. Like last time I, I I ever watched My Little Pony, this is when I was young, right? I was a little little kid, so I didn't really know nothing about it, except you know being around my my cousins. But seeing this, it's like what? A My Little Pony at a lock core? I was like, ah, that's weird. I look at it. Oh man, that's it's good. You feel me? It's good. I rock with it. Let's look at the last video you got of this. Man, here we go again. We got them ads for them dudes making them trash beats. Doom, 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 doom. No, stop it. Be a doctor. All right, so this one is called Remember the Fallen MLP My Little Pony Infection. It's a one minute one, so this one's short now, y'all. Ooh, this is hard, bro. This is hard. He's dead? I thought he was alive. He must have turned. Dang, nigga, what happened to the whole team? They must have didn't have all the right protocols. We thank you for your service with the Exquarian Special Forces. Uh oh. Celestia is hiding something. That's one of the doctors, right? Project Eve. Um, blurp, 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 and blurp. Okay. Speak up, traitor. Their blood is on your hands. Wait, is it like their, their, their captain? Did, did their captain do that? We want answers. We deserve answers. Remember their faces. Yeah, I remember them loud and clear. <laughs> oh, remember their names. I didn't I didn't see that part, my fault. Remember their families. You bastard. Remember they died from your lies. What's about to happen? Why the why the static stop? A rebellion is brewing. Ooh. Uh-oh. 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 
But all right, y'all, that's all of the My Little Pony that we have so far. This is part two of the uh, mini series, and I'm hope I'm hoping that there is more of this. Like I said, bro, I told you I'm go I'm gonna be back. I told you I'm gonna be back. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a very good video, man. I I, I really like it. Honestly, you deserve more views than what you're getting from this, cause this is nice all right this is different it's creative you know what i'm saying my little pony you know we we got amazing world of gumball we got spongebob you know we got all this other you know kid cartoon analog horrors but i think you're the only one that came up with my little pony congrats but all right y'all man i hope that y'all enjoyed this make sure y'all go ahead and show love to the creator for making these amazing analog core videos you know it's story is great i like it i rock with it i hope you do if you don't oh well but make sure y'all stay tuned to my other videos and with this video right here with that being said make sure y'all stay safe y'all stay blessed y'all stay cozy keep god in your life cozy joe's out love peace and chicken grease